my wonderful pupils to our online class on English studies. Remember that we discussed phrases last time and we also talked of the different types of phrases. So today is a continuation from our last class because I told you that we will also continue prepositional and adverbial phrases. Remember, we did noun phrase and adjectival phrases. So today, we will treat prepositional phrases and adverbial phrases. Before we proceed, what is preposition, what is adverb? We will learn that today. From the term adverb and preposition, we got prepositional phrases and adverbial phrases. So we start with prepositional phrases. Remember that a phrase is a group of words that does not make a complete thought. It is a group of words that does not make a complete thought. Then in prepositional phrases, first of all, what is a preposition? Prepositions tell us about direction of things, position of things, and it also links two things together. For example, under, above, into, behind. The boy is standing behind the table. The mother is on the table. I'm standing beside the blackboard. These are prepositions. Then prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases begin with a preposition and end with an object of a preposition. That means in any prepositional phrases, we must have a preposition and an object of preposition. Remember, object comes after the preposition. Object comes after the preposition. Let's look at these examples. The first one, we went fishing with Ken. We went fishing with Ken. What is the preposition in this sentence? With. With is the preposition. And Ken is the object of the preposition. So with Ken is the prepositional phrase. They traveled to the beach. They traveled to the beach. You ask yourself, what is the preposition in the sentence? To. To is the preposition. The beach is the object. That means to the beach is the prepositional phrase. And the third one, they swim during the summer. They swim during the summer. What is the preposition in this sentence? During is the preposition. And the object is the summer. That means during the summer is the prepositional phrase. You have other examples of prepositional phrases. Then let's move to adverbial phrases from the word adverb. Adverb is also a part of speech and it tells us more about verb or even an adjective. It describes or modifies a verb in a sentence. The adverbial phrases are words. They are groups of words that modify a verb, an adjective or a complete sentence. It could modify a verb, an adjective, or even the sentence itself. There is one thing important in adverbial phrases. It's it categorized. It comprises of different types. We have adverb of place, adverb of time, adverb of manner, adverb of reason, adverb of frequency. So, adverbial phrases answer the questions where this is adverb of place, where is adverb of place, when is adverb of time, like when did you have that is time, how is adverb of manner. We also have adverb of reason, why or because, that is adverb of reason. We also have adverb of frequency. It tells you how often something happens. We have several examples. Let's begin. Number one, I call him outside the mall. Outside the 
mall. I called it outside the mall. Outside the mall tells us where. Where did you find me? Outside the mall. Remember, adverbial phrases answer the questions where, when, how, and so on. She has been here since last year. She has been here since last year. When? When has she been here? Since last year. When has she been here? Since last year. So this one answers the question when. That is adverb of time. The third one, she solved it more easily than her classmates. She solved it more easily than her classmates. How did she solve it? How? How did she solve it? More easily than her classmates. So this one answers the question how? Adverb of manner. How? She solved it more easily than her classmates. Then the other one, Adel didn't attend the class because he was ill. Adel did not attend the class because he was ill. He was ill. Why didn't Ade attend the class? Why didn't Ade attend the class? Because he was ill. So this is adverb of reason. Adverb of reason. So it is uh, adverb uh, phrase of reason because it answers the question why. Because he was ill. The last but not the least, Jane practiced regularly for the competition. Jane practiced regularly for the competition. Jane practiced regularly for the competition. How often did Jane practice? How often did Jane practice? Regularly. Regularly. That is adverb of frequency, which answers the question, how often? How often? So remember, we did prepositional phrases and adverbial phrases. And adverbial phrases, like I said, are divided into different categories, like the adverb of place, adverb of time, manner, reason, frequency. Hope you learned something. Okay, we'll bring it to an end here. Don't forget to do your classwork. See you next time and stay safe. Bye.